I would um, be so bold as to claim that the only way that we are a microcosm of some kind of macrocosmic consciousness is if there is a convergent evolution of consciousness in the cosmos and some kind of super consciousness from the future is engaged in a dynamic relationship with us. To me, that's the only empirically sensible way to frame the claim that our minds are a microcosm of some kind of macrocosm. But here's the problem. If that's how you want to characterize the relationship between the microcosm and the macrocosm, the last thing that God wants is perennialism. Because God is, quote, God, unquote, is a super consciousness at the end of history, which is running out of the future. Okay, and so what God needs from us is a broadening of the field of potential experience. So God would want further differentiation and increasing complexity. And therefore, this macrocosmic consciousness at the end of history would be trying to introduce dissonance and conflict and differentiation so as to see what types of new forms and structures might arise because that being is desperately in need of some kind of change. Okay, that being would be facing suicidal nihilism. And in that case, we would have to save God. Okay, God would need us to save her from suicidal despair. And the last thing that that kind of a divine consciousness wants is perennialism, which is going to level everything and try to make everything seem as homogenous as possible. That God would want discord and dynamic creative strife.